All right, so we have our tripod, I got our handheld tripod, and we're just scouting Newark today, walking around. It's quiet on Sundays. I'm on Branford Place. I'm gonna walk around some uh, murals around here, City Hall, it's a lot of cool things, um, potential backdrops. So we just wanna walk and see what we see. The other day, I tried to do a, <laughs> I tried to do a location scouting vlog the other day, and I thought I had some cool angles, but did a whole vlog uh, without audio. So I'm still, again, we're always testing, and I'm gonna talk about what I'm using at the end of the vlog, so stay tuned for that as well. It's a lot of dilapidatedness over here, a lot of ruins, feels like I'm watching uh, Beat Street. it has been a couple movies shot on this street too, actually. Um, but today, like I said, it's quiet on Sundays quiet on Sunday morning so we're gonna get our shots and let me go ahead and set up this tripod that's how it is when you when you're doing a one-man shoot it's early hours a lot of, gonna see a couple of people coming by too it's a huge homeless population out here real big so we'll see what happens with that but just uh, you know I'm not disturbing nobody I'm trying not to get nobody away we all live here So it's still early, cars starting to pick up a little bit, and it's a big intersection right now. We're on Washington and Market. So it's a couple of cool things out here, things that are, uh, you know, basically memories of what used to be here. And some Newark signs, some, some typography in different places, stuff like that that can be nostalgic, if you will. And right, again, I'm setting up my tripod so I can just easily just transfer this to to this situation over here. Um, but yeah, we on the corner. I'm actually about to post up right here. Hopefully we get some uninterrupted shots. So if I'd have got here a little earlier, I would have probably gone to uh, further down Market Street and shot right in the middle. I still might do it actually, depending on how these cars pick up. Um, it's almost 8, 8.30 right now, so we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Yo, so I always see this when I'm driving around uh, downtown North. And two things stand out, obviously the name Newark and then love. Um, my daughter's middle name is that. And every time I drive past something that says love, I always see it. So um, it's something I think, you know, it's definitely left behind from what was here before, but it's, you know, the typography that also adds to the art of the city. So you might see murals, you might see custom paintings, but just seeing word art sometimes, you know, can give you that little pop of color you need to see just to give you that inspiration for the day. This is a dope alley. I'm about to take a picture of this. All right, now I don't recommend just walking down random alleys. Check it out first from afar. Um, I'm just, like I said, it's a lot of homeless and displaced um, out here in North downtown. So, you know, you don't want to disturb people, to be honest. You know, it's not about violating or whatever. You just want, you don't want to run up on somebody that might just be in this situation. So, uh, back here, it don't look like anybody's been sleeping back here, and if they have, they already left. So we're gonna um, wanna get some shots. I really like this building, this parking garage. This parking garage looks pretty dope. Um, the architecture is really cool. We got some graffiti out here, you know, behind us. That's that's like the low hanging fruit texture. But uh, I'm about to get some shots over here. And this actually might be. Please do not piss here. I live here. Yeah, see, this is somebody's house, you know. So. Um, I'm not gonna get that shot. That's just not my style. Um, but these sky, these uh, scalpel tenders, pretty pretty dope. Um, and like I said, I really wanted to get 
this parking garage back here. Right on time, because the battery just died. <laughs> now this is a building that I have to stop at, because I always see it when I'm driving by, and the blue is just so bright and electric. I always feel like I need to shoot something on this wall, so I'm just going to get it for now, save it for later, and who knows what's going to be shot on this wall in the future. All right, so I think that's the end of it. Uh, not because I'm done location scouting, but because the camera is about to die. So um, that means we got what we got in today. But the cool thing is, um, when you live around the area, you can always go back out. And the cool thing about location scouting, by walking around, is that you can find so many things within a few blocks. And always remember to look both ways before you cross the street. So we're back at the desk. For the first few years that I lived in Newark, I worked in New York City. And by the time I got home, a lot of the things that I wanted to see or participate in were closed. I found myself seeing locations that stood out, but I would only keep mental notes. So I figured it'd be cool to just go ahead and share them right here. Here's what I learned in this one. Have a list of what you're looking for. Lines, shape, color, texture, light. If you don't have an idea of what you want to capture, it's kind of like going into a grocery store on an empty stomach. You're going to try to get everything. So even though you are exploring, keep in mind that you want to take shots of things that you're going to actually come back and shoot. Be mindful of people's personal space and private property. Basically, try not to violate. If you're shooting in a city, then chances are you're walking on somebody's backyard everywhere you're going. Having a model or someone to test you with would definitely help you get a shot closer to what you want your final product to be. And it also might end up becoming a cool little mini shoot as well. As I mentioned outside, I love walking around my own backyard to discover new things. You never know what you're gonna find on a two block, three block radius. Um, doors that you might see, texture from buildings that you just pass by every day and pay no mind to. These things can be noticed when you're just walking and taking your time and looking up. You know, they say you can tell a tourist walking around a city because they're always looking up at the buildings. But looking up is something that you don't typically do often if you live in an area. You often take it for granted. You know, there's so many New Yorkers that haven't even been to the Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building. When I first moved to New York, I didn't even realize that I was eating lunch almost every week at the bottom of the Empire State Building. So walk around your own backyard. And by that, I mean your neighborhood, your surrounding city, your surrounding area because you miss so much every day. When shooting outside, everything is a potential background. I use Google Maps to drop pins sometimes, but you can use whatever app you like. Just remember to keep track of it and go back and check every now and then just to make sure that inspiration stays fresh. So I listed all the gear that I used today in the link in the description but the most important piece of equipment that i used has to be this little adapter right here this adapter converts a trrs jack to a trs jack i'm making the same face as you right now like i didn't know what that was trs and trrs stand for tip ring sleeve or tip ring ring sleeve this is the end of the lavalier mic that i bought this is the end of the adapter that came with it. This has three rings, this has two rings, but really it's the space in between the black rings that counts. So tip, ring, ring, sleeve, tip, ring, sleeve. This goes into this adapter and this plugs right into the actual Rode mic and you have a working microphone. The Rode mic actually costs $80 and it's already TRS compatible to go right into the 
the Rode Mic Wireless Go 2s, and they're great mics, but they don't come with the lavalier mic. Why? Because it's already built into it. You just clip it on you and you can just talk. It even comes with a little windsock to put on top of the mic. But there's also a jack to insert a lavalier mic right inside. Rode sells one, but it's $80. So out of curiosity, I went looking for a cheaper option and I found it. But it didn't come without an inconvenience. The cheaper option was about $20 and it came with two mics and a couple of adapters to use with Apple devices. It actually came with two mics, but one adapter. When I first got it, I thought it didn't work because I tried to plug the lavalier mic right into the wireless go to's and it fit, so I thought they should work, but they didn't. And going through the package a little more, I realized that there was this adapter in there that I needed to use. And once I put that on there, it changed it from tip ring ring sleeve to tip ring sleeve and making it compatible with the the actual road mic now it's a little stiff the design is not as cool as the already compatible road mic but it's way cheaper and i haven't used the road mic to actually compare this mic is solid too by itself but i haven't used the road lavalier mic with this to actually see how solid it is but eighty dollars for one mic versus thirty dollars for two mics I think I'm gonna try my luck on the actual cheap version. And I'm not mad at it. Again, it's the design is not as great as the Rhodes simple design. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's a little quality difference with the Rode uh, version, but I'm not mad at what I'm getting so far. All right, that's it for this one. You can find a link to all the gear I use in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, give it a subscribe. Hit that bell for alerts for more videos like this. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Brian Summers for more photography. Don't forget to check out SummersBrand.com, my online store for original art, graphic tees, and prints. Whether you're buying a print or a tee or an original piece of art, don't forget to use that discount code SUMS for 10% off your entire order. All right? I will see you in the next one. Peace.